G'day boys and girls, Colin back again with Sunday School. Today we're going to meet Bethany. Bethany's a farm worker. She loves working at the farm. She loves milking cows. She loves sheep. She loves driving a tractor. But we're going to meet her in the milking partner and learn a little bit about milking cows today. But before that, let's sing a song. And there's animals in the song. Here we go. <laughs> song. Unfortunately we know cows in that song but here are some cows. It could be Holstein, Frisian, milk cows. And this farm here, the farmer, he has them as little baby heifers and he grows them up into a herd of 350 dairy milking cows. And we're going to meet them in a second. Bethany, I'm shouting away to Bethany and she tells me her favourite Bible verse is in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. We're going to say that together. I can do all things through Christ 
which strengtheneth me. Bethany's a young Christian and she realizes, understands the importance. Being a Christian, you don't live in your own strength, but the Lord Jesus is within your heart and he gives you strength to live and to keep going on for him. Because you can't be born a Christian, but you can become a Christian. And Bethany's going to share a little bit about that in a moment's time. Let's sit together. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me or gives me strength to live, to speak for him, to live for him, to shine for him. He's the one who gives us strength and encourages us to keep going on. So whenever you're working hard on a wet day or difficult day, the Lord's there to help you as you make difficult decisions and maybe things are going wrong. You know he's with you all of the time. Many people today are lonely, but when you've got the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart and your life, you never need to be alone because he's always with you. Being a Christian, not just about going to heaven when you die, it's having him with you as you go through the life. And the Bible is a wonderful book. It never changes and it just teaches us all about God and how to live our lives pleasing to him. And it's wonderful. We're going to pray and then we're going to meet Bethany. Father, bless all the boys and girls today. Thank you for people like Bethany willing to speak of the Lord Jesus in her workplace. And we just pray, Lord, you bless all the children and families wherever they are and help them, Lord, to call upon your wonderful name. Thank you for dying on the cross to take away all our sin that we can be forgiven and become children of God. Help Bethany now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go and meet Bethany out on the farm. Here we go. Good day, boys and girls. Today we are on a farm and we're very excited to meet Bethany. Bethany, say hello to the table. Hello, boys and girls. Bethany, you're, uh, you milk cows? Yes, I milk cows, so I do. And do you enjoy doing that? Yes, I really enjoy milking them. Is there many girls milk cows? Well, there is more and more girls like coming into agriculture, so there is. Uh -huh. And how did you get into milking cows? Well, my granda, uh, he used to be a dairy farmer, so he did, and then my dad's a farmer, so he milks here, and uh -huh. then the job came up, and then I thought I'd try it and give it a go. And is it hard to learn how to milk a cow? Um, no, it's pretty easy, so it is. It just takes a bit of time to get used to it. And what's the routine whenever you start milking? What's the process? So, first of all, we get the gates and all ready for, to let the cows in. So we let them in and then we mail them first and after that we spray their udders to make sure they're all clean and then after that we wipe them down and then we also check the teats for the likes of felon and then after that we put the milkers on. And uh, do you get the count of all the cows by name? No, there's too many to remember. <laughs> so How many is in this farm you're milking? So there's roughly 350 being milked here at the minute. And how many people t does it take to milk them each time? I'd say there's about five of us in the parlour at the same time. So yeah, wow. there's a lot of us. And you're milking like 40 at a time? Uh, yes. Well, yeah. Uh, and does a cow ever kick you, Bethany? Got kicked once or twice. What yeah. if a cow needs to go to the toilet? Is it ever, are you ever in the wrong place at the wrong time? Yes, all the time. All the so time? Yeah, you have But that's to. part of it, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. you, you can't be in the cow, they just get ex have to go to the toilet. Yes, yeah, it's not their fault. Bethany, you're a, a Christian girl. Yes. Is that important to you? Yes, it definitely is important to me. How'd that come about? Well, I've been only saved for a year, so I have. I was watching a testimony. Um, my mum was actually watching a testimony um, at home and I listened into it and that's, I thought good works was going to get me to heaven, but it wasn't. And then that's when I knew I was a sinner and needed to be saved. So I went down to my bedroom and I asked Jesus into my heart and I asked him to forgive me of my sins and that's when I got saved. Did, so it, was, did it change you in any way? Yes, definitely. I feel like more in peace with myself before. I struggled a lot with like anxiety, but Jesus took that away from me, which I'm 
grateful for. So he is real to you? Yes, he yeah. is real to me. It's so not just is. like signing a bit of paper? No, definitely yeah. not. No. And how do you grow with him each day? By praying every day and by reading my Bible and just by, you know, having a relationship with the Lord. And does it grow stronger each day? Yes, definitely yeah. it does. People say it's a beautiful relationship. Would you say that? Yes, yeah. it is. And it still helps you to overcome different issues in life and yes he helps me to overcome you know different obstacles i may face on the farm or at home or whatever mm -hmm. what about sometimes loneliness is a big thing is it is the lord a good help when people's lonely yes definitely especially with farming you know it can be very lonely especially when you're working like long hours and it can be like you don't see very many people mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely the Lord's been my strength, so he has. And you love farming, Bethany? Yes. When you were a girl at primary school, is that what you wanted to do? I always liked working with animals, but I never thought, you know, I'd be working on a farm. Uh -huh. so, and yeah. are you married, Bethany? No, not yet. Now, I'm really sure there's farmers out there watching this who are not married young farmers <laughs> and they're going to be asking me for your phone number. Will it be available? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to interview them, make sure they can milk cows. Yes. So the ideal dream would be a big farmer who's got lots of cows and you could spend your honeymoon milking cows. Yes, definitely, that'd be great. <laughs> so Bethany, in your day-to-day -day work with cows, uh, is it summer and winter? Is it any different? Do you have to bring the cows in the summertime? Well, in the summertime, some of these will, cows will go out to the grass with the cars and stuff. It's been a lot harder with traffic too. Yeah. So they're kept in the house then. Mm -hmm. And what else do you do apart from cows? What else do you, type of farming do you like doing? I also keep sheep at home, so I do, and we also keep uh, suck cows. And What's a suck cow for somebody who doesn't know? It's a cow that's kept for beef. Do they have or, calves or suck cows? Uh, yes, they have calves. And what do you prefer, dairy cows for milking or suck cows? I prefer dairy cows for milking mm -hmm. and then suck cows for rearing calves. And do you like milk yourself? Do you drink milk? Yes, I love milk, so I do. Milk in your tea and milk in your cereal? Yes. That's great. Do you like tea? I love tea, so I do. Uh, cows, it's important to look after the cows. Yes, definitely. Especially when they're milking, we have to keep their feet right because if the goleum in their feet, they have to be taken care of because some cows can get like an abscess on their hoof. Yes. And that can cause them per to produce less milk. Mm -hmm. So they get done every month. Oh, it's very often. Yeah. Do you get your toes clipped as often as that? No, unfortunately not. <laughs> cows are really look looked yes, after these days. Yes, they are. So Beth, if somebody wanted to be a Christian, you'd think, well, I'm a good person, but that's not good enough to go to heaven. What, what would they have to do to be a Christian? If they wanted to be a Christian, they'd have to ask the Lord into their heart and ask the Lord for forgiveness. And then just by having a relationship with the Lord, by reading their Bible every day and, you know, praying every day as well. That's important to do that, to keep, to keep growing stronger. Yes, yeah. definitely. As you find as you get on in, in the Christian life, do you find it's, it's better? Is it still as exciting? Yes, it's still as exciting, so it is. Yeah. And do you think meeting up with other Christians is important too? Definitely, you definitely need the fellowship of other Christians. Mm -hmm. So you do, just to encourage you yeah. as well. It's important that, like I said, when people sit together and they share together and, and read together and hear yes. God's word together, you become stronger. Yes. Yeah. So would you recommend, if there's a young person watching the, the, this here and they think, I'd love to be a farmer milking cows, would you recommend it? Yes, definitely. Whether you're a girl or a boy, it makes no difference? It makes no difference, so mm -hmm. it does. Do the cows prefer having girls? Do they know the difference? I don't think they do, no. Yeah. I was talking to a farmer there and he says, girls can be cleaner around cows. Yes. Is that they're, yes. more, they're more caring and cleaner? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you don't have to be a big strong farmer to milk cows? No. It doesn't good. matter what height you are, what size you are. Yeah, I can feel my phone ringing, maybe somebody looking at your number, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany, what's the sawdust for? So the sawdust for, um, that's for bed in the cubicles, so it is. Well, for you to sleep in? Uh, no, not for me to sleep in, for the cow's feet. Yes. Why is it important to look after their feet? 
Um, it's very important because, um, especially being like walking through manure all day, it can scar the backs of their feet so it can. Uh -huh. So it's important to keep the passageways clear as well. Clear, yeah. Oh, what's what's he doing here, Bethany? So, they get their breakfast. Um, yes, he's feeding them at their breakfast. Oh, what's it's in that there? Silage and a mixture of meal and straw, and it's all mixed up in the diet feeders. They're, they're well fed and watered. Yes, definitely. They seem very happy cows. Yes, they are very happy cows and healthy. Yeah, Bethany, it's important to give good feed to cows. Yes, it is very important. Does that help them produce more milk? Yes, it helps them produce more milk, so it does. And feeding them after they come from the milking parlour helps as well for them to produce more milk because they're not going straight back down to the cubicle to lie down. Uh -huh. So they're not. And whenever they go into milk, do they get meal? Yes, they Is get that like meal. a wee treat? Yes. Uh -huh. So it, it makes them stand while they're getting milk. To take away distractions? So yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Bethany, did you come straight from school to work on a farm or did you go to Greenmount? Well, did you, have to, did you have to learn how to do this? I actually um, went to Greenmount when I was, I think, 18. So I studied there for two years. I'd done the level two diploma in agriculture. What did you learn there? So I learned about animal husbandry and, you know, how to look after dairy cows properly and how to manage, you know, a dairy herd. And also we were out in practicals, clipping dairy cattle and... Clipping um, them? Yes. What do you clip? So we clip their tails to make sure they're nice and clean, especially when they're going into the parlour. You don't want to be, you know, hit by a cow's tail <laughs> like, when you're stuck to it. Oh, very good. Okay. Especially yeah. a big bit of dung in the end of it. Yes, you don't want that in your yeah. face. So you're not afraid of smell or dung in your hands or feet or... No. You Not just really. Keep smiling. Yes, just keep smiling. You'd make the perfect wife for many a farmer. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna, my phone's going red hot. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany, see these cows. Does the farmer buy these cows ready to milk, or are they his own? Um, no, these are all his own cows, so they are. So he keeps all his heifer calves. So What's he a does. heifer? So it's a young cow getting ready to go into the milking herd. So a wee female calf? Yes, yeah. a wee female calf. And how long does it take from a wee calf is born till it becomes a mummy cow? So it become a mummy when it's two years old. So that's when we would serve it to the bull. Yeah, and then whenever it starts milking, how long does a cow, can a cow be milked for till it's too old to be a milking cow? I suppose five to six years. Is there is life? That all? In, yes. There is a few cows here that are eight years old. Why, are they so, special or <laughs> yeah. farmer's favourites? Farmer's favourites. Just as strong and healthy and yes, able to keep... Yes, just strong and healthy and able to keep milking. What's these ear tags, these so, yellow numbers for? That's their identification. For each cow has to have that. So if a cow got run up the road and went for a walk into the city, if somebody finds it, they could trace it back to this farm? Yes. Uh huh. And the wee yellow button, that's auto ID. So when it goes into the parlour, it picks up. It knows what cow it is? Uh, yes. And how and much milk it gives? Yes. It knows that? Yeah. You don't have to wait, it's all automatic it's now? It's all automatic. Technology is so advancing and changing very fast. Yes, definitely. Very quickly. And there's no red cows or no brown cows, all black and white? Yeah, all black and white. What yes. are these, freezing? These are hostings. A bread specifically for milking? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Does a cow ever get sick? Yes, all the time. They do get sick? Yes, unfortunately. What, what, what would cause a cow to get sick? Sometimes a cow can get a twisted stomach or a twisted gut. Uh huh. So the vet would have to, you know, operate on her and. And how do you know it's got a, a sick? It just doesn't get up? It's very dull looking, so it is, and its eyes are sunken back. And it's just not performing as well as it should. So would you go and look at the cow's face and see if they're happy or sad? Or can you tell by the performance of milk? Uh, you can tell if they're not producing, if they're producing less milk. You can tell, so you can. So it's quite a responsible job being a milking cow. Yes, You definitely. always need to have your yeah. switched on, yeah. I think a cow's a beautiful creation. Yes, definitely. You can see God's work. 
Yeah, you and a cow. And how a, a cow eats the grass and it eats brown silage, green grass, and gives white milk and a black and white cow. It's, yes. And it's pure white milk. Yes. And it's so healthy for people it, to drink. It's, it's wonderful. It is. How it works. So, Bethany, what's that? A jacuzzi? No, it isn't, Colin. <laughs> so, this is the Lely robot, so it is. So, it goes in up the passageway, so it does. Oh, to push the food in? Yes. To make sure they've always got plenty of food? Yes, so it pushes the food in eight times a day. Times a day? Yes. Wow. Who's these wee boys? They look friendly. Yes, so these are all the calves. Uh huh. So, these are all the heifer calves. Wow. Are they young heifers then? Yes, they're all young heifers. They just eat and eat and eat till they get bigger. Yes, and ready to go into the milking herd. So that necklace tells the, the, the farmer how much the calves eating and drinking? Yes. So that they know that? Yes. Is that in case some doesn't drink enough, they need to focus on it? Uh, that's in case, uh, say, if the likes of a calf didn't go in to get its milk, so then the farmer's able to look up then on his Computer. computer. So is this your lifelong ambition to be a farmer, Bethany? Yes, it is. Do you enjoy it? I really do enjoy it. So and do you have your own valley boots and all? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. And is milking cows your favourite? Do you prefer sheep or calves? or? I prefer tractor work, so I do. Can you drive a tractor? Yes. Oh, very good. Do you yeah. enjoy it? So Yeah, I really enjoy it. So What's I do. your favourite tractor? A Massey Ferguson. <laughs> a Massey Ferguson. Is that a red one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you drive a tractor for? Do you go to work in the tractor? So I drive a tractor for mowing silage in the summertime. So I work. Is that your tractor? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Are they steel toe caps? Yes, they are, Colin. Why is it steel toe caps in the farm? Just in case the car was to stand on my foot <laughs> or else break it. Stand your toe? Yes. I said, oh, oh, that's right, the car's a big, heavy animal. Yes. That's great. So I have plenty of protection. Yeah, yeah. Are these wee calves at this stage getting meal as well? Yes, they're getting meal as well. What about silage? They're too small? Uh, no, these ones are too small. Yes, so just for meal silage. and milk? Yes. They're lovely wee calves. They are. All black and white? Yes, all black and white. But there's not two cows the same, even though they're all black and white, they're all different. Yes, they're all differently marked, so yeah, they are. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. It is. And then these calves here, they're all heifer calves, so they're kept then for replacements. So, so they'll they're... eventually be mummy cows? Yes, yeah. yeah. That's great. So every year just keeps... Just keeps... Chain going. reaction yeah, all the time, changing. that's what's wonderful. So boys and girls, really enjoy the time here with Bethany, just seeing how the farm operates, milking the cows, seeing the wee baby calves, and, and the process from a wee baby calf that becomes a heifer, becomes a mummy, becomes a milker, and the importance of looking after. Whenever God made Adam and Eve in the garden, their job was to look after the animals and to care for them. And here in this farm, you can see the cows are really well cared for. And Bethany absolutely loves farming, she loves milking, and it's just great. Any man's dream is our Bethany, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany, thank you. Thank you, Colin. Well, Bethany, thank you so much for taking the time to share. And my phone's going red hot. <laughs> All you young farmers out there looking at wife to help you milk the cows. I've got Bethany's number. And she said, well, the pens who it is. And of course, all these questions, tough interviews, etc. But Bethany loves milking, she loves farming, she loves driving a tractor, she loves sheep. But more than that, she loves her God, she loves the Lord Jesus. Lovely story, lovely testimony, and a lovely girl. Thank you, Bethany. Okay, we're going to finish with our final song, and I've got more animals in this one as well. Here we go. Bunny rabbit, too, yes, it's 
so much for taking the time to share your story a young christian a babe in christ and drinking milk as you like and having that desire to have the deeper things and the more immediate things of god's word do you pray for all these people we interview them as they go through life and grow in their knowledge and understanding of the lord jesus let's pray father thank you so much for bethany for her family for her story for her work ethic and we just pray you bless her very much thank you lord for the story and for the sunday school today in christ's name we pray amen See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.